Here we are with the Microtik CRS317 switch. We're about to fire it up and for the first time and uh, get into the initial setup. So here we have an Ethernet cord to the Ethernet boot port, uh, which acts as a regular network port, connected to my laptop here. And once we fire it up, we can connect to it by web browser and uh, start the initial setup. Here we are, gonna plug it in. Okay, so it looks like after the initial boot up, uh, the fans spin up during the boot up and I believe at this point the operating system is loaded and the switch is ready to be used and the fans are shut down because it's not hot enough yet. Alright, we're going to go next to my laptop to uh, do the initial configuration. Okay, here we are with the Microtech CRS317 connected via an Ethernet cable to my laptop and we're going to begin the initial setup of the switch. By default, the switch uh, is configured for the 192.168.88.1 um, slash 24 IP address and subnet. So I've already created a network profile that puts me uh, on that same subnet and we're just going to enable that here so you can see I've assigned myself the address 192.168.88.5 and so hopefully if everything is well I should be able to ping the switch at the dot one address and sure enough it's pingable so let's go to the web browser and connect to the switch. Okay, so <clears throat> here is the, I guess, quick setup uh, interface. It, uh, interestingly, the instructions say I need to log in as uh, admin with no password, but um, it looks like it just gave me d direct access to the configuration page without even having to type that in. Um, so in my case, I'm going to configure this in bridge mode because I'm not going to be doing any routing with this. And I'm going to configure it for my specific network, which I've given an address, uh, reserved an address for this at uh, 192.168.0.14. And I have a slash 25 subnet mask. I'm also going to set a default gateway because um, once I get this on the network I'm going to attempt to do a firmware upgrade over the network and so it needs to be able to reach my router and out to the internet and so <clears throat> those are the only changes I'm going to make here this should um, allow it to act as a basic uh, switch and uh, be ready to be plugged into my network uh, and by default it's going to continue booting up router OS but later on we're going to uh, see about switching over to the switch OS uh, operating system which is probably what I'm going to end up using in the end but uh, before I do that I, I do want to get this on the network and I want to uh, get the latest uh, firmware for router OS as well as uh, the switch OS so I'm going to go ahead and click apply here and seemingly nothing happens. So this is kind of interesting. Um, I believe that these changes 
are instantaneously in effect. And so by clicking apply, the switch has uh, changed to this address, which is no longer on the subnet that I'm configured for the initial setup. And so therefore, um, the web UI kind of stops responding. It's probably something that Microtech can improve on uh, to have some client side uh, response mechanism to show that the switch has changed. So, but anyway, we're going to go in here and switch up to the, I'm going to shut down my temporary, temporary setup uh, network profile. And uh, actually I'm going to edit it as well, just so we can confirm that Oops, let's see, IP4. Okay, so as you can see, it's this is still configured for the 192.168.88.5. I'm going to set uh, clear the address, and then I'm going to uh, set the address to 192.168.0. Let's say 20 um, slash 25, which is uh, this is just a temporary setup. It's not really on my network, but that is the address range for my network. And yes, we want to set it as manual. And so now this network profile has changed to 192.168.0.20 slash 25, which should allow me to ping the dot 14 that the switch is uh, hopefully on right now. So let's save this setting and get out and bring this network profile up now. Okay. And sure enough, I am now on the 0.20 address. Let's see if we can ping the switch now on the 14 that I had configured it for. Okay, and sure enough, it's pinging. It's the only thing on this network cable, so um, pretty sure that is it. So let's go back to the web browser, put me on dot, uh, 0 0.14, and sure enough, here we are. Um, connected to the switch again. So I'm going to go ahead and assign a password to the admin account. I don't want just anybody to be able to log into this. Click on apply and so as you can see this time around since we didn't change the IP address the the UI is actually responsive uh, which is kind of nice but I definitely think the Microtech can improve the UI so that when you do change the IP address um, there's some client side code that can indicate that you know the the UI did its thing and that you know the the user should change their network um, and reconnect to the UI so anyway that's the initial setup and we'll get into the firmware update and uh, and look at some other features and also uh, look into switching over to the switch OS uh, in a later video. All right, thank you.